Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Connect All product demonstration webinar. I'm Chris White, Director of Demand Generation for Connect All, and I'll be your host today. Today's webinar will focus on how you can integrate Atlassian Jira with third-party tools, using Jira as the master facilitator of your value stream. You'll learn how you can orchestrate workflows, capture data for metrics, and enforce governance and security with value stream integration. With us today are Connect All's own Lance Knight, COO, Sharath Bhaskara, Director of Technical Services, and Andrew Fuquay, VP of Products. A couple of housekeeping items before we get started. Today's session is being recorded, and we'll send out a link to that recording as soon as it's available, so you can share it with your colleagues and watch it as many times as you'd like. If you have any questions for us during the webinar, simply enter them in the questions box, and we'll answer as many as possible, time permitting. I'll now turn the mic over to Lance and let him take it away. Great. Thank you so much, Christine. And we got quite a large webinar demonstration here for everybody today where we show a true end-to-end -end value stream connected. Before we get started, though, I want to talk about a couple of quick things. First, software delivery is changing. I've said this a lot. And, you know, software is in everything. We're, we're, everybody's in the middle of digital transformations. And, you know, all of a sudden, enter value stream and the problems it solves in order to help you through that. With all these changes uh, in software delivery today and with all the software that's out there through everything, there's also been a tooling explosion that's occurred as well. There's been a DevOps tooling explosion. There's all different types of tools and solutions you can use to manage delivery, delivering software. But what that's caused is a little bit of chaos. You know, right now today, all the value stream tools are disconnected. All the value streams have grown organically. And with value stream management, we want to take the waste out of that. We want to make sure that we're integrating effectively through all your different tools, and we're letting information flow. So the webinar we prepared today is, is very interesting where we're going to go and take JIRA to be your master facilitator of all that. And Sharath is going to take us through integrating with Rally and Atlassian JIRA, looking from a JIRA. We're going to integrate with Eclipse, GitHub, all of this from the lens of JIRA and turning Atlassian JIRA into your value stream management platform. So that's going to take us a little bit of time. So I'm going to go right ahead and say, Shroff, let's get going with the demo. And you can see quite the uh, set of different things. He's going to wear multiple hats uh, as he goes through this presentation. And Shroff, if you could you know, kind of talk about how you're changing roles as you're going between those, that'd be awesome. And uh, thank you for putting this together for us too, Shroff. So over to you. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Lance. Let me start sharing my screen first, right? And then we will dive right into it. Okay, so hope you all can see my screen now. Okay, so uh, Lance, can you see my screen? Good? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Great, so thanks a lot, Lance, for that introduction. So today we actually wanted to demonstrate the complete pipeline of a software delivery value stream. Right, and also do some orchestration and stuff, uh, keeping the Jira as your center of the world. Right. So today I'll be taking multiple roles, like once as a project manager, as an operations guy, as a developer, as a QA, and because I have to cover a lot of things. Right. As you can see in the integration diagram, uh, we are integrating today with Rally Service Now and Microsoft Surveillance. These three are connect all standard adapters, right? And we are also integrating with Eclipse, Circle CI, Sonar, right? These three are actually built on top of the connect all's beautiful universal adapter technology, right? So the way we build the integrations, what we are doing with this universal adapter, and what is the actual benefit of having this universal adapter that connects to multiple different applications is what we are going to learn today. Right. So let's go ahead and start with our rally. Right. Now uh, let's say I'm the project manager. I want to create my business requirements in rally. 
and then synchronize them over as work items in my Jira, right? So I'll go into Rally, right, and say, okay, I have this feature. Um, so I want the customer rewards feature for my restaurant application, right? I will go ahead and say I'm going to create, okay, a customer, if a customer is regular, I would like to give some discounts. So this is a story as a owner of the restaurant, right? So you start building your features, stories, uh, and all in your rally, right? So the moment you synchronize your, I mean, you create your items, if you see our integration here, the Rally is synchronizing its features and effects into user stories and effects in Jira, right? Let's go into Jira and see how does that look, right? So I have built a feature board that will clearly show me all the effects, all the stories, right? And also the bugs, right? I'll come to the bug page in a later while because when we talk about the integration between Microfocus ALM and Jira, we'll cover that, right? So right now you can see that my Epic, the new customer rewards has already been synchronized, right? And I also have multiple Epics that are already synchronized into my Jira system. And also these are the stories that are coming back from Valley, right? And if you open any of the stories, you can also see, I'm sorry for this, okay. So you can also see that, okay, this Jira story is also linked to this epic, right? So I'm actually replicating whatever you have in your rally system, in your portfolio items and user stories, the hierarchy is actually being replicated as is by connect all into your Jira, right? So now I got some work into my Jira, right? Um, see the new story that we have created in rally is also synchronized now. So uh, I have some work in my Jira, right? As a developer, I have to start working. So you will move, you'll select them for development, right? And you start working on the features, right? Let's say I take this feature into in progress, right? RM52. Now I'll go into Eclipse, right? In the Eclipse, I have this beautiful plugin uh, called Storyboard, which is built on top of our universal adapter, right? So here you can see all the Jira stories that are created and are being synchronized into Connect All, right? So I can do uh, synchronization at runtime. Now I got say 11 stories are modified and I can see as a customer, I have to do this and stuff like that, right? So right now I'm working on, let's say feature RM32, right? So I will go ahead and say implement some story. Right, so, uh, okay, let's do a simple change here. Right, I made some changes. I have impl I'm implementing a story. The moment I'm implementing a story, what we typically do, we create a feature branch for that, right? So I'll go ahead and create a feature branch. Right, and I will add my code and commit that RM52 feature is implemented. I'll push this feature branch. Right. Um, so typically what happens when you are done with your work, you'll go to GitHub, do your pull requests and get it approved and then do a merge, right? Instead of uh, waiting all through all that flow, for now I'll do a local merge of this RM52 into my master, right? Master is my base, baseline. So I'll check out the master and I will merge feature RM52 onto my master. So now I have built a story, I have merged it into my um, into my master baseline, right? So connect calls, um, sorry, GitHub's integration with uh, CI, Circle CI, will automatically trigger the pipelines for my continuous testing, continuous verification and all. And you can see them here, 
right? So my bells will keep running the moment I start pushing stuff, right? So let me push this as well, right? I push my master, and now I have to deliver the story that I have implemented onto my uh, QA team, right? So how will I do that? So if you see my integrations. Uh, I'm already synchronizing whatever the Jira stories we have into ALM for as requirements, right? So the ALM user can automatically create defects and synchronize them back to Jira, right? So what we are trying to do now is we are trying to orchestrate the flow using connect all. That is, if I want to deliver the feature that I have developed right now, the feature RM52 into QA, I will log a ticket for my QA manager to approve it before I deploy it onto my staging servers, right? I just don't want to continuously do it, but I want to orchestrate it. I want to have an approval process for governance uh, and multiple other use cases, right? So I will go ahead and say, okay, I am done with this. And okay, as a developer, I'll say, I'm done with my work, create a development task, and I want to deploy my master code, um, deliver RM52 feature to QA, right? So I have created a deployment task, right? My QA managers or release managers can come to Jira and see, okay, I have this work item on me, right? Um, let me see what is there in this, right? So they can go and see, okay, uh, this particular feature is being delivered, right? And they wanted to push it, push the master branch, right? Um, and the moment we approve this, we will, we are going to trigger, I mean, because the approval is done now, we are going to trigger the orchestration flow of Circle CI using our universal adapter integration, right? Once the staging approval is done, the connect all will uh, synchronize the pipe, I mean, kickstart the pipeline, right? And start deploying the code base onto your QA servers, right? So during this process, it will also do the sonar analysis, right? Uh, where, I mean, it continuously tracks for all the changes, vulnerabilities that are being there. And these are also being synchronized back onto your connect all as See, we have got some new vulnerabilities that are reported here, right? Uh, from these are coming from Asona, right? So you can clearly see that uh, this particular the environmental variables the way we use is wrong, and uh, this is the line number of a given component and stuff. Right? So you can capture your vulnerabilities and everything uh, on your uh, Jira itself, right? And also we are Okay, I'll come back to the production box. There are so much pieces to cover uh, on this, right? Um, so my deployment is done. Let's go ahead and see the pipeline, right? Um, so we have done some integration here, right? Continuous integration and the continuous verification sonar build is triggered, right? And also, uh, similarly, you can see uh, staging deployment, um, pipeline that will be triggered in a moment, right? So let's say I have delivered it, right? Uh, and now QA is going to create new bugs onto my product that I have delivered, right? There will be no bugs. Uh, there will be no features without bugs, right? So let's say now I'm taking the role of a ALM user, right? Where I will go ahead and log a bug on my ALM for a given feature. Right, so let's say I have this bug, right? I'll go ahead and add a new bug. Say I am not able to open the user interface. Right, and typically for traceability, what does the users do, they will also add those features 
of those defects into your um, requirements as a, uh, for traceability, right? Let's say I link this here, right? So my epics are already synchronized here, as you can see, and I'm also adding the bugs or defects, whatever is there uh, onto the epic. So what, what is the beauty of doing this is basically in your Jira, once you go and open any of your epic, right? Let's say this one. You can see all the stories, all the bugs that are reported on that epic will be automatically synchronized onto it. So uh, it's very easy for the developers to track, okay, this is my epic, these are my stories, right? Uh, these are the bugs that are related to this epic and stuff like that, right? So okay, so I have done my QA staging um, deployment. The QA is uh, doing their testing. They're getting some bugs, right? And uh, now we wanted to release, like we have done like three features here, right? Let's say I want to release this, right? I'll say I'll create a new version, 0 0.0, .0 or something, right? Um, oh, it's already there. <laughs> okay, I'll create a new version. Oh, this is also there. Snapshot one. Okay, so I'm I'm trying to release now, right? So I can go ahead and create a new release task for asking approval from the release manager. Say, okay, I am done with all these stories. Like I have implemented RM52, right? I have implemented RM53 and so on. Like these are the uh, issues that we are planning to deliver to the production. Right, release v 0 .0 0.5 version to production, and I will give the release number. Right. So once this release task is approved, our connectol will again trigger the pipeline to push that particular tag into your production automatically. Right. So you will do your release to your production servers. So that you can see back in the pipelines here. So we have previously released 0 0.0.3, 0, .0, 0 .0 snapshot, and stuff like that, right? So in Connectol, let's come back. Like we have done so many role switching now. Let's come back to discuss a little bit of beauty of our Connectol, right? So here you would have already seen the visualization here that says we are pulling the data from all the systems into Jira. So I can generate some reports and get some metrics and stuff. Um, and also how we develop these integrations is basically to orchestrate your flows, to move your vulnerabilities during your pipeline and use the benefits of the tools and fill the gaps with kind of versus adapter, right? So I can quickly walk you through the dashboard piece so we can see the activity, right? And uh, here we are seeing the number of records that are getting synchronized, right? And also I can show you the universal adapter configurations. So these are the configurations that we have developed for Eclipse, right? And uh, Sonar and uh, Circle CI adapter, right? So all these universal adapters, we are actually publishing them into our GitHub um, for community to readily consume, right? So if you guys are interested in developing new adapters, and stuff like that, you can always use it here. Now that we talked a lot about the pipelines, let's ask Andrew, our product manager, uh, to talk a little bit about the value that he sees out of integrating all these tools together. Andrew? Over sure. To yeah, thanks, Sheriff. Before you stop sharing your screen, we've already got, oop, you just killed it. We already had one question in about that visualization you were showing. Uh, the question okay. was, is that a real thing or is that a PowerPoint or Photoshop? Uh, and can you interact with it, uh, that value stream map? Uh, I can show you that. I will show you that. Um, let me know if you're seeing my screen now. I, I do. I, yep, okay. there it is. I see it. 
So this is not a PowerPoint. It is generated at runtime and it is derived from all the application links I have here. So if you see Rally, right? I have, I'm synchronizing epics and stories, right? So that is being depicted here. Epics and stories are coming here, right? And if you take Sonar, right? I'm having vulnerabilities that are being synchronized. So the same integration you can see here, right? And if I take circle CI, it's, it's all driven completely based on your uh, integrations that you define in Connect All. And this is not, I mean, this is generated at runtime for you, the visualization. Great, and you can interact with it? You can drag things around? Yeah, uh, you can drag things around. You want it to keep it somewhere. Like, I mean, I typically prefer the PDCA cycle. Plan yeah. to check act. So I just aligned it like this, but yeah, you can uh, do your alignment based on your needs. Okay, cool. Um, so let me, uh, we'll thank you for answering that question. Sorry for uh, uh, interjecting mm -hmm. so quick that way. And I'll share my screen and uh, show you a couple of things that, uh, uh, that I get out of making Jira the center of my uh, software development universe and uh, use that to manage our value stream. Okay, so there you see, this is our Jira. This is our connect all real live Jira. This is my actual cumulative flow diagram for a specific class of work. The point here is not to teach you how to use, to show you all of uh, Jira's graphs and teach you how to use them, but just to encourage you to Get to know the graphs that are in your tool. You don't need to switch tools. You don't need some uh, special kind of a, a platform. What you're using, uh, it's particularly like if you're using Jira, like we are here, uh, the, the tool that you have has things like cumulative flow diagrams. It can give you the cycle time of your work. So with ConnectAll, as, as Sheriff showed, you can get all that data using ConnectAll into Jira and then take advantage of the stuff that's already there, the tooling that you, that you're, the reports that you already know how to use, the analytics that you know how to use in the, in the best of breed tool that you happen to be using. Uh, and in this particular case, you know, just, just for a quick example, I can see that my, uh, in progress and code, um, review, uh, have, has nice thin lines like you're supposed to see on a cumulative flow diagram. But my delivered to QA is, is choppy and steppy, and that didn't look good. And so I noticed that because I was, I had, uh, Jira's the center of my value stream management, uh, universe, and, uh, I dug into it. I figured out why. We came up with a hypothesis for a process change. We tried it. We made an improvement, and you see the steps are smaller, and we made another improvement and the steps are, are smaller still. So the uh, you know, one thing I'll just add along the way is that, that managing the value stream is a human endeavor. It's something that you have to do uh, using the, the uh, charts and data that you have at hand. Getting some new platform that uh, it is, is not going to take away the need, uh, for humans to understand these charts and to manage your own value stream. Uh, I'll just show you just a couple of more, uh, just, just by way of example, in, in case you haven't looked into all the things that Jira has available tar for you. Uh, this version report is very useful. I find it very helpful. Uh, and I'll also show you this control chart might take a little bit of uh, head scratching at first to learn to use it, but once you learn how to read it, you can get cycle time for your wait state, your delay. You can get a cycle time for your value added state. You can get the overall lead time from the customer's request to uh, delivery. And you can get what some people are calling flow time, which takes away the uh, original time that it sits in backlog waiting to be approved and accepted into the system. Uh, so you can get all of that and, and a whole lot more out of the tools you're already using. So with uh, that is uh, all I wanted to, to show. So with uh, 
That said, Chris, we can move uh, to uh, the Q&A session. Great. Thank you. As a reminder, if you have any questions, please enter them in the questions box and we'll address as many as possible in the time we have remaining. Okay, uh, and so I can, uh, we have several questions in and uh, I will read these and uh, maybe pick somebody to, to answer them. Um, the first one is there, uh, the question is, is there any way to connect JIRA directly to MicroFocus PPM without having the ALM application? Sheriff, would you like to take that one? Uh, I believe we can. Uh, Andrew, I think we all, uh, we are actually planning to develop an adapter for that, both transit and universal adapter. It, I mean, to keep it straight, right? So you can integrate with any any application that has a REST API, right? Even if it doesn't have a REST API, Connectron has the capability of, I mean, let me talk a little bit. Uh, can you share my screen again? Uh, no, go ahead, Shrat, just answer the questions. If <laughs> right. Short so time. the universal adapter has two flavors to it, right? Um, so one is called external API provider and one is called connectional API provider. Even if you do not have a REST API for your application, you will be able to write some sample scripts to synchronize the data using Connectall, right? So Connectall as such is a pretty powerful solution. So you can synchronize, read the data from your databases, read the data from your application that has a REST API and stuff like that, right? So yeah, I mean, universal adapter gives you a possibility to connect to any. So the the, the the adding on point to that too is uh, just so that this is Lance and I. We have vendor-based adapters and universal adapter. If you want to get really complicated with integrating with PPM, we can do that as well. Uh, we have all different types of adapters uh, and different ways of solving that. Go ahead, next question. Great, thank. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, there was another question. Sorry if I missed that part, but how do you integrate with ServiceNow? Uh, maybe I can try to field that question. Um, with our, uh, with, with ConnectTall, basically, there's a, it's a two step process. You, uh, uh, enter the endpoints that, uh, the, basically the servers that you want to connect to. You select the entity types that, that, uh, you want to, uh, sync, like if it's stories to, to uh, service request, you you specify that, and then you just match up the fields. Uh, we have other videos that we've recorded, other uh, prior webinars you could see that goes more in depth about how you use ConnectAll to um, uh, integrate with ServiceNow. So, um, uh, so for the in the interest of time, I'm going to move on to the next question. Um, uh, next one was, I didn't understand the necessity for the Eclipse connection. What was it used for? Uh, and just very briefly, Sheriff, can you, can you mention, I, I, it, it, it was, sure. it was just for the, uh, example for the demo. If your particular situation, if you don't use Eclipse, that you, you wouldn't have that in your scenario. Um, no, I mean, I'm talking in the context of a developer there. So typically when we talk about uh, developer context switching, it is really, really costly. As a developer, if I'm working on a feature and I want to know what all the new stories that are coming in and what I can pick next, I don't really want to go open another application and see what is coming in, right? Uh, so if I am there in Eclipse, I can just synchronize my stories, I can synchronize my work and start working on it. I, the context switching, uh, that lag will be eliminated by using that. I mean, this is Great, completely thanks. from my developer perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, next one is, do you support integration with Soulman and Tosca? By Soulman, I'm assuming that's the SAP Solutions Manager. Uh, perhaps it meant something else. Uh, but definitely, absolutely. First, I'll start with Tricensus Tosca. We have uh, support for that in a as a uh, a native or a built-in adapter into ConnectAll. And uh, though we we haven't built a native adapter for Soulman, uh, you could certainly use our universal adapter. Again, we've mentioned that uh, the universal adapter allows you to connect to anything that has a REST interface and synchronize uh, the data between uh, in, any other application, uh, either uh, the adapters that we have or with other 
um, applications that you've built to um, set up to work with the universal adapter. I'd like to add that the QTest adapter is actually already available on our GitHub repository. Yep. Uh, thanks, Lance. Uh, does this work with X-Ray and other plugins in JIRA that are used for test management tool within JIRA? Uh, I know that we do support, uh, there is a particular um, test management plugin for JIRA that we support. Um, and uh, uh, Sheriff or Lance, do you know anything more uh, beyond yeah, that? Yeah, uh, we have built-in support for Zephyr. The Great. test management plugin, yeah, and we can synchronize the test steps and everything into your ALM and back from your ALM to Zephyr. Yep, I'm familiar with X-Ray. Um, I have had a, a, I've have heard of uh, uh, interest in that before, and um, could uh, if there was a strong interest, we could uh, explore that further. Um, uh, and I think Lance just answered the question about how Connectall is different from TriCentis QTest. Well, sort of, uh, Lance mentioned TriCentis QTest, but can one of you address how Connectall is different from TriCentis QTest? Uh, so TriCentis QTest, well, uh, I'll try to answer this. So we're really different from TriCentis QTest. We're a value stream integration, they're a testing tool. I think what you're trying to ask is, how do we integrate differently? Well, we're an integration hub uh, where theirs is a more of a native integration. <clears throat> we allow the management and facilitation and orchestration, not just the integration of all the tools in your ALM system. Uh, I think that's basically how we're, we're different. Okay, uh, thanks. The next question, I know we're, at, we're over. Let me do one more, Chris, and then you can tell me whether we want to uh, end it there. Uh, if possible, we can we will try to answer additional questions offline. Um, this one is if I'm using a release management tool like Excel Release, which has the capability to connect to various systems like ServiceNow, Jira, and ALM. What's the gap or capability that ConnectTalk can provide on top of what we already got? Lance, would you like to field that one, or do you want me to? Uh, I, I'll go ahead and field that one. So I think the fundamental difference is we have a universal adapter that connects to all these different tools. We're not really just focused on release orchestration. We're focused on end-to-end -end delivery from, uh, from your PPM tools all the way to code into production and monitoring tools. We can integrate into a tool like Excel release and do those things as well. Uh, and our adapters are, you know, easier to construct. We have all kinds of different tools we can connect to. Um, just a whole bunch of different differences between those two, to, between us and Excel release. They may have some adapters uh, that they can connect to. We have a universal adapter that will let us orchestrate across your whole value stream, not just your release or DevOps part of your play. So. We can orchestrate all the way back to PPM if we need to for automated feedback loops from your tools so that you can reprioritize. We don't just focus on release orchestration at release piece. And then on top of that, we allow for integration through the whole value stream as well. So if I just want to integrate from Jira to ServiceNow, I can do that as well uh, and allow all those tools to connect as well. So that's my best understanding about the difference. I'm familiar with Excel Release. It is a great tool, uh, and there's a great group of people that work over there on that product as well. And I look forward to collaborating with them uh, in the future, possibly, as we'll probably be able, we're able to connect to them as well. So that was a little too long-winded, so go ahead and move on. Okay, Chris, do we need to end this now, or uh, do we want to field more questions? Uh, if you'd like to field another question or two, we do have a couple more minutes available. Okay. Um, uh, another one is, what about core Jira performance while connecting to so many tools? Uh, would one of you like to say a word or two about performance? So I'll take that one on, too. Um, let me go ahead okay. and take that. So we're, we act just as one agent, and because this is happening real time, that you know, ConnectAll is just logging in, putting the information in, 
or logging and taking information out. It's not like we're doing all this massive changes or migration. It just briefly, when it needs to make a connection, it connects, makes a change, that's up. So that's just like a user on the system, uh, not so much having to connect all the time. Okay, uh, and then um, last question, if I'm in JIRA, or the last question that we'll have time for, if I'm in JIRA, how can I tell if some defect came over from some other system? Well, typically what we do, again, I'll answer that again. Typically what we do is we set up an attribute that says this came from here or from there so that you have visibility of that. That attribute can be linkable where you can link to that tool if you want to as well. There's all different ways of giving visibility of where the defects are coming from uh, and what they're related to as well because we're synchronizing and connecting everything. Great. And just to add on to that, we could sync the URL into the other system. We can sync the object IDs into the other system. So, uh, yeah, just, just to give a couple of examples, many ways to skin that. All right, Chris, uh, back over to you, please. Great. Thank you, gentlemen, for a great presentation. And thank you, everyone, for joining us for today's webinar. Again, it was recorded, and we'll send out a link when that's ready. We do have a record of the questions that were asked that we weren't able to get to, and we'll do our best to address those offline. I have one final question for Lance. If anyone has additional questions after today's webinar, is there an email address where they can direct those questions? Absolutely, they can direct those right to sales at connectall.com. Great, thank you, Lance. Before we sign off, I wanted to remind everyone that we've got a host of other product demonstration and webinar recordings available on our website at connectall.com. You'll find them under resources in the main navigation. This concludes today's webinar. Have a great rest of your day.